Hey guys, this is Najam. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to check out a really cool product. This is the Boyer BY MM1 microphone. And this is a really cheap uh, cardioid microphone that you can put on top of the camera and you can get much better audio quality. Now, this is a generic microphone. So you'll find the same microphone from multiple different companies. And it's actually pretty cheap. Now, I bought mine for £20 which is a really good price in my opinion after testing it uh, but you can also find it for 15 pounds which is even lower and i think that's a really really good price for this microphone uh, now we're going to talk about the review and i'm going to press through some tests and we're also going to do an unboxing which we're going to get right into right now so it comes in this white box and if you look at the back of the box it has some it lists out some features and just i want to point out one thing and that is no battery is required and this is one of the uh, selling points for me. I really, I really wanted a microphone that I did not have to worry about in terms of batteries. And it's just very, very convenient. I don't have to worry about anything about it. This microphone does have a cardioid pickup pattern, so it's not a shotgun microphone. Uh, like it says on some of the listings that you'll find on eBay or Amazon. Um, it's not a shotgun microphone. It is a cardioid microphone, which is usually just directional. Uh, but it will be much, much better than the built-in sound quality that you find in the cameras. It comes with a windshield, um, which is attached to the microphone. It also comes with the shock mount, which I'll talk about in just a bit. And it comes with the TRS jack as well as the TRRS jack. So what you can do is use it with uh, almost anything. So you can plug it into a laptop that has a headset jack in, which is a microphone and headphone combo jack. You can plug it into that. You can plug it into phones. You can plug it into tablets. Uh, you can plug it into cameras like the Panasonic G9 I'm using here that have a microphone in. You can use it uh, with uh, uh, recorders like this, the uh, Zoom H2n or the Zoom H1, which is not uh, it's, it's not designed for that, but um, it will work with pretty much anything because the cable, uh, it comes with both cables. Now, the cables plug in uh, at the back of the microphone and then you can plug that into the camera. Now, let's touch on the shock mount. The shock mount is atrocious. It's actually not a shock mount. It's just a piece of plastic, which means it doesn't work at all. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a shock mount at all. Uh, design wise it's nice but I would prefer honestly to uh, to if it's going to be like this just not provide a shock mount because this one it doesn't work uh, we're going to do a test it does not work the microphone is a mono microphone uh, it, it does um, output dual mono signal so if you're using a stereo uh, recording system it will have both the left and the right channel with the recording on it so you don't have to worry about it sounding weird without any editing now taking a look around the microphone, you can see that it is built out of metal. It's a very, very nice microphone. It's, it's very small and it's very light as well. Let's get into the audio test and uh, we're going to put, put it through spaces. Okay, let's test out the directional pickup. So we're going to find out how much of noise it rejects from the sides. So I've got it plugged into the uh, Zoom H2n right now and it's recording me. And I'm also recording the camera audio separately. Now, what I want to do is just measure the noise floor on this because I think the G9, the Panasonic G9 camera preamps are really, really bad. Maybe that's why it sounds really hissy. Um, so I'm just going to shoot up and we'll see how this sounds. And I won't apply any editing to this. I might boost it up, but I won't apply any noise reduction or EQing and anything like that. Okay, so uh, we're gonna now do a direction test. So uh, this is speaking in front. So you can see that it, it probably picks me up. And this is the right side of the microphone and let's see how this sounds. And this is the left side of the microphone. See how this sounds. And this is directly behind the microphone. I can see that the levels look are about the same. So I'm not sure if it's, uh, I know that it is cardioid. It does pick up more in front of it. Uh, but I'm not sure how much it rejects. Okay, we're going to do a microphone test. I've got it right on the camera. I'm about an arm's length away from me. So this is just about almost touching the lens and the microphone is right on the top. And I'm recording with the built-in microphone in the camera. And to switch to the microphone that's uh, on top on the hot shoe mount, I'm going to have to plug it in but restart the recording because uh, this camera doesn't switch automatically to the other microphone. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and um, stop the recording. We're going to plug the microphone in and uh, you'll be able to hear a difference in the sound and we'll see how that sounds. I know the built-in microphone on this camera is really stereo-ish and it sounds really, really echoey because it's really, really bad, um, which is typical for built-in microphones. Um, so that's why I got this one. Uh, we'll see how this one sounds.
Okay, I've plugged in the microphone, it's on minus six in the camera settings, and this is how it sounds. Now, it does output a dual mono signal, so both the right channel and the left channel is all bouncing around on the levels, and so this is how it sounds. I wonder if there's an improvement in the sound. Um, I'll be very interested to see how it sounds uh, if you want to play back in the uh, in the recording. Uh, what I normally do is drag the video clip into Audacity and then I make some adjustments. So I might, if I need to do noise reduction, uh, we'll do that. But I'm not going to do any editing on this one. Uh, but I will mention one thing. Uh, these cameras do record in AAC, which is Advanced Audio Codec, uh, I think. And um, it's very compressed and so it sounds really really bad compared to the uh, zoom h5 which is uh, plugged into an xlr microphone right here uh, it's not going to be as good but i wonder if it's going to be just a lot more convenient to have this and if the sound quality is nice enough then i'll just probably use this one uh, i might make those adjustments in the uh, in the audio editing to make it sound good um, but i think it'll be really really convenient so what I'm going to do is make a jump cut uh, and I want to have a listen to how this sounds and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay for £20 I think it sounds okay there's a lot of background noise so let's see if uh, it does isolate it. Um, I do find that it does sound very boomy uh, I think it's just sort of there's something weird going on with the bass it might be it might be the pop filter let me take that off. Okay, I've just taken it off and I'm gonna have to check it again. So let's see how this sounds. Uh, again, there's a lot of background noise. Okay, I have turned on the autofocus on this very noisy lens. We're gonna see how it sounds. If it picks up a lot of the noise, which it is going to because the shock mount is just a piece of plastic. So it will pick up the noise from the camera. Uh, I'm gonna move the tripod back a bit. and I'll move back a little bit and I actually tried to change the direction of the microphone uh, but I kind of want to stick with this very simplistic setup I think I might actually try it again because I, I didn't record with it but I, uh, because this looks like it's pointing at my forehead not down here which is where it, which is where it should be um, but we'll see how this sounds without the wind muff thingy windshield uh, whatever it's called it sounds a lot better and it's a bit quieter now as well. Okay, I've moved closer to the microphone. I'm going to move it down a bit. I have moved closer. I'm actually uh, just about, I can touch the, uh, I can touch the lens. Um, I think it's on autofocus. Yes, it is. Um, now this lens is a lot more quieter, so it, it might not pick up as much noise. See if it picks up any lens noise. Uh, I'm going to move side. And then move back in, and uh, I don't know. I don't think it's, it's. I don't think it will pick up any noise uh, because this lens is very quiet. Um, but it is pointing again because my the camera is closer. It is pointing a bit above, so I want to see how this sounds. Um, I did uh, again want to point it down a bit. But, uh, we'll see how this sounds. Um, so what I've done is got on the my uh, the camera closer to my face, which makes my nose look a bit bigger and everything. But uh, it should give me good uh, or better sound quality and uh, yeah I'm interested to see how uh, this looks and uh, sounds in the um, recording. Okay this probably sounds uh, a, a little bit more different. I've got a point, I've got the microphone pointing down at my face, at my, sorry my mouth rather than being up on my forehead so this might sound better than the other one. Uh, I'm gonna show you it so there's the uh, camera and uh, got the microphone right on it and it's just pointing directly at me rather than facing straight forward and you can I'm holding the cam this camera right at my mouth and you can see that it's pointing directly uh, the microphone is pointing directly down if I tap on the table uh, the uh, levels are pretty much going up so it's gonna pick that up i notice if i touch the mic uh, uh, touch the uh, tripod uh, it's gonna pick that up and if i touch the camera 
it's definitely going to pick that up as well uh, and let's go ahead and touch the display which is articulated i don't know how much of it is going to pick up but it definitely it seems to be moving so it will pick up that sound as well so it picks up a lot of uh, microphonic noises that you, uh, you touch the equipment with now if you do vlogs and um, you're planning on getting this mic uh, it's a very nice mic but it will pick up a lot of uh, noises there's no shock mount or anything so you know that's uh, there might be like a third party one you can get this is now with the microphone on top pointing directly down here and this is how it sounds when it's a little well it's an arms exactly an arm's length i can just about touch it and i did touch it <laughs> the audio uh, in the ac codec is um, a 126 kilobytes per second which is really really bad but consider this for voiceover work like this and if you're going to be recording anything like this it's actually fine uh it's just when it gets too much when there's so much going on in the audio stream that uh, it sounds a lot more compressed and of course this is going to be compressed and it's going to sound bad compared to the lossless recording um, but at least i don't have to sync it up i don't have to do anything weird like that i just drag and drop and it'll just work okay now it's at plus zero uh it's bouncing the signal around at minus three minus six decibels which means there's still headroom ahead um it still does have headroom so this audio might sound a bit more let's say what's the word a little bit more detailed but the thing is i do noise reduction anyway so that's gonna muffle out the heck of it uh, but i'm actually gonna do some audio editing on it and i'll see how this sounds i think this uh, is gonna be a bit of fun okay i have discovered that using the panasonic g9's uh, preamps at zero uh, decibels uh, in the settings uh, is actually a really bad idea because it adds distortion to the audio which is weird i've put this on minus six and i think i'm going to stick with it the way it is because it sounds a lot more natural um, and what i'll do is i'll just edit it and uh, make it sound pretty pretty good for voiceovers and all that i think it sounds pretty good okay now i'm going to talk about the pros and the cons let's start off with the things that i don't like about this number one the shock mount is useless uh, it's a piece of plastic it doesn't work uh, I would much rather have preferred an actual shock mount that at least does uh, improve a little bit of handling noises. But this red piece of plastic doesn't do any good. And the second thing is because uh, the shock mount is really, really bad, it picks up uh, camera noises. So if you have a really noisy lens, so you can it's actually going to pick that up. And that's one of the things I don't like about it. Now let's talk about the positives. Uh, number one, the build quality is very, very nice. It's built out of metal. And the price is actually very, very nice as well. Considering the sound that you're getting out of this, I'm actually really happy with it. For £15, you're actually getting a huge jump in sound quality. And also the price is very, very nice. I really do like the price. It's very cheap. Uh, the sound quality is nice. And also uh, I like the size of the microphone. It's very, very small. So if you guys have any questions about this microphone, ask me in the comment section below. Uh, I've been recording this audio with the, the microphone on the camera. And I have done a little bit of noise reduction and some editing to make it sound normal. Uh, because the G9 preamps are a bit uh, bad. Um, but this is how it sounds. This is what I've been recording with. I think it sounds really, really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.